And then towards the middle, you're like, okay, this is absolute trash. This is the worst painting anyone's ever seen. Do you know how to talk to people? Like, I have forgotten still. I don't know what kind of year you've had, but for me, I've had enough dark days, okay? 2023 has been a dark year for me. I need to get out of this. I need to get my life together. It's that time of year. I got the holiday. You know, we're trying to be cozy. We're trying to be joyful. We're trying to get into our new year, like mindset, new year, new me. I just feel like I've had enough dark days. I want to be an organization queen again. I want to get my life together and be the journaling. No, not the journaling. Sorry the planner, planner-ing person. I want to be organized and on top of things and simple, 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 okay? I'm tired of being overwhelmed, depressed, tired, putting things off, too busy because I'm just overwhelmed by like the amount of content that's coming into me all the time. Like I want to just like focus, you know, get organized. And I feel like organization is a mindset. I don't think you need to hear about like how I use a planner, you know, it's like, do I bullet journal? It's like, okay, cool. But I feel like organization is actually a mindset for me. It's about like, what am I taking in? What am I putting out? How am I viewing my life, my days, where I wanna go, what I wanna do? I feel like it's more about like having a vision for what you, how you wanna spend your day, to be honest. It's like, for me, I don't have like huge, huge goals. I really just wanna like make art and like be creative and be able to live in like a forward life, you know? I've been thinking a lot about this because I feel like a lot of like being organized is just like getting rid of things in your life and in your head. And a lot of it comes down to like stop comparing yourself to everyone you see online. Like the influencers that have the best desk and the best like art studio and the most like idealistic life, it makes you feel like you need a lot more to like be that to like be an artist or whatever just live your life and like you don't need a lot of those things and obviously we, we all want those things and that would be great but it's just not realistic a lot of them are getting gifted those things or they make a lot of money and things are expensive right now life is so expensive right now so i feel like it's about being smart and it's like getting what you need, having a cute setup and feeling like you can be on top of things, but not feeling like you need to be this idealized, perfect, you know, Instagram person to get things done. For me, a lot of organization is also like sticking with things. I feel like it's so easy just to like want to switch styles or mediums. Like as soon as I get into oil painting, I'm like, oh, I should try acrylic, shouldn't I? Ooh, this watercolor, ooh. But those gouache paintings are so beautiful. Like it's just constant like inundation of like what you're not doing. And it's hard to like stay focused. And I honestly feel, I just keep having this this thing come in my head of like clutter, like clutter, clutter, clutter. It's not about having like the perfect planner. It's like getting rid of all that stuff in my head, which is like impossible essentially, unless you want to not be on the internet, which I love the internet, so I'm not going to leave the internet, you know? It's not realistic to just be like, oh, I'm going to delete Instagram, you know? Instagram, you know? But how do we like focus and just stay organized with all of that stuff? like? coming into us all the time. How do we still like get things done and feel like we're proud of our work and we feel creative and stuff, even though like there's always a million other things that we could be trying and that we're not doing. It's like so difficult. And then it's like, oh, now I gotta have like, I gotta post on like every platform and have like the best website and like, oh, now I gotta frame my paintings too. And now I gotta have like, perfect cards to go in every order. Like, it's just like nonstop, you know? And I just keep coming down to like, okay, there's a lot of options out there for things that you can do. Unfortunately, you can't do them all. Maybe one day you can do them all slowly, but like right now you can't do them all. And you have to accept. I feel like accepting is a big part of like starting, you know, feeling like you can really thrive is like accepting that you cannot do it all. I'm talking to myself here because I'm just like, I wanna do everything. I wanna do every style of painting constantly. And I just like have such a hard time with like sticking with things and seeing things through and even like finishing paintings. Like 
uh, our attention spans are just so bad too. Like, and I don't know, I've had a hard year like in so many areas of my life. So then I have especially like short of attention span because of that and yeah, but again, I think it's just like, what are a few things that we can do to kind of trick ourselves into like getting that dopamine hit in an authentic way? That's kind of what I'm thinking about right now is how can I trick myself and trick my monkey brain into thinking like, oh, you're really doing great, even though you're not doing everything out there. Like, how can I want the things that I already have? How can I have just a few materials, just a couple style elements that I pick, one medium, very simple website, all of that. How can I do all that and like be happy and like actually want that and you know aspire to have the things that I already have? So how can we stay organized when it's just like impossible basically and the world wants us to fail or it's like when we do make things, it just disappears into the ether? How do we stay organized and motivated and like on track? How do we do that? <laughs> Um, can you, do you know? Cause like, I, I need help. Here's kind of what's helped me recently. I feel like one thing is like not working on too many paintings at once. That is like such a trap because you get that momentum in the beginning and you're so excited about a new piece and it really carries you forward to like the middle of the piece. And then towards the middle, you're like, okay, this is absolute trash. This is the worst painting anyone's ever seen. And I'm gonna throw it away in the trash and never paint again. And I've just wasted $25 in materials, great. Yeah, that's like how I feel during every painting. <laughs> but I do feel like seeing it through is so important, even if you hate it. And I'm dealing with that right now. I need to finish that piece over there. And it's, I don't like how it's turning out, but I'm so close to the end. Like I need to just get it done. And I'm trying to like use that excitement for the next piece as like momentum to get through the end, like the, the horrible end. That is the hardest part of the creative cycle is finishing it, you know? But I have felt like, yeah, not working on too many pieces is a good system, even though it's really hard because I want to work on a lot. And sometimes with oil painting, you need to work on a couple because they dry slow. But like, don't work on more than like two or three, I feel like, because at least for me, it just teaches my brain to like not finish things. And I have way too many ha like half finished paintings. <sighs> it's like, it's so bad. I need to just, yeah, it's depressing. <laughs> like I need to finish paintings because it just, it teaches my brain that I can leave things unfinished if I don't and it's not good. And it keeps me unorganized because I have so many like random paintings around here that aren't finished and I'm like, oh great, like now I'm physically cluttered, mentally cluttered and I feel like crap, so it doesn't help anybody. <laughs> I also feel like planning your paintings out. Every time I don't plan a painting, it goes bad. Like I've never had a painting go well that I didn't plan out, literally. Like, I know some people can absolutely make like the most beautiful paintings and they're like, oh, I don't even know what the painting is until I start it, you know? Like, it just comes to me, it flows through me. I am not like that. I need a lot of images, like references to know how to paint something. I need like proportions and to know how the colors are gonna look. Like, I need, I need images, I need a plan, so. I've just accepted that about myself. I want to be a more like go with the flow, like creative person and just let the painting come to me. It doesn't work. So I've just accepted it. I need to plan on my paintings and that's okay. That's how I'm going to be successful. And it's how I'm going to stay organized and not waste materials and just like feel all over the place and have to repaint it and repaint it and then have horrible texture. Like if I want to just finish the painting in one, you know, one go and not have to like repaint and sand and all that, just plan it out and then you know what you're doing. So I've been doing that on Canva and I just like test all the colors and shapes and everything. And I just feel like I have a plan going into my painting and it's so much more successful. It's more likely to be successful than if I just like have a kind of idea or no ideas and just wing it. It's not for me. I also feel like staying organized as an artist, like not the craft part of it, but the actual like artistic expression and what you wanna say in your art, like the ideas, like I feel like staying organized in that realm, unfortunately is like about doing the same thing over and over. And I've, I'm more and more just like trying to accept that because it's so hard for me. It's hard to do like, the paint the same thing over and over but i do kind of feel like that is what you need to do to like one be successful and like have a cohesive style be able to like market your work you know have a body of work be successful on social media things like that it's like you obviously want to like repeat 
colors, themes, shapes, lines, ideas, things like that. It doesn't have to be all of those, but like at least one of those needs to be like cohesive, right? So I feel like that relates to organization because you are staying focused and you're making your life a lot easier by reducing like all of the decisions that you have to make because if you know kind of what you're painting and what world you're building, art is all about like world building, right? Then you are more organized because you automatically like know what you're painting and you don't have to like learn oh like i don't know how to paint fire today i have to learn how to paint fire tomorrow i have to learn how to paint a house the next day i have to learn how to paint bears like if you are painting similar things all the time then it's going to make your life easier faster you're going to feel more confident because you're like oh i know how to paint flowers like i'm the flower painter and I think you'll feel just like you can progress more and you can jump into your work easier. So that's something I've been thinking about where although it can be a little bit creatively stifling to like paint the same thing, I think it is important if you do wanna sell your work and be a professional artist, you know, find the things that you like. And one thing I do is like, Every new painting I start, I'm like, I need at least like one element from the last painting. If you painted grass in a certain way that you really liked, bring that into your next painting. And then the next one, you know, you bring that grass and then you bring something else. And eventually you'll have like a world that you're building and you can repeat and repeat. And obviously you will change so many things in each painting, but you'll have that like foundation of who you are and your art, what your art is, you know? And you'll just like find more creative ways to play with things inside of that world. Look. We all have seasons in our life and I think it's really important to like honor what seasons you're in. Whether that season is the week, the day, the month, like we have seasons in all of those areas. In the year, we have seasons of like, you know, more productive in the fall, having a little bit more fun in the summer. In the winter, maybe you're really productive because you're at home more. Um, and then we also have seasons in our life is, you know, as far as like, oh, if you have a breakup, maybe you're a little bit more sad and you don't wanna paint as much or you got a new job and you're making more money so you can afford better supplies so you're excited to paint more. Like we have seasons in our life and also like over the week, you know, like on the weekends, maybe you're hanging out with friends, you're not gonna paint as much, but Monday is like your time to get to work. So I think honoring those life fluctuations is helpful because you're going with things instead of fighting them. And when you're in that go period, you go, like you go. When you're feeling good, you get things done. And then when you need a little bit more rest or social time or whatever it may be, you can take that time off and not feel as bad. Like it helps your life stay more in tune with yourself. And I just think it makes for like a better experience. And I really believe in like the um, fresh start effect. So the fresh start effect is like, say you clean your room really well. That's kind of like a fresh start and you're like really excited to go work in your room now. Or you get a new apron that you can paint in. That makes you excited to paint. So I really believe in those little things that kind of get us motivated. And right now, my fresh start is like the new year. So really harness this time of like, oh, there's a new year, let's get organized, let's get our things together. Like we know everyone else is kind of doing the same thing. Like it's also winter, a lot of people are hibernating and being productive. So we can like harness that energy and like go with the season. And I really like that too, cause it helps us, it gives us like free momentum that we don't have to dig you know inside ourselves for which is really nice and i feel like this relates to organization because you have extra energy and a lot of organization is just about like having energy and like feeling motivated to do something it doesn't mean that you shouldn't like work during the whole year like you should just take the summer off or it's not like that it's just that in those moments where you do have a little bit extra really grab that and like use it to your advantage and i think in general it's just about like not over complicating it not like over buying things not thinking that you need all the new tools or tech or whatever like you don't need perfectly new paint brushes you know you don't need the perfect lighting in your studio to get started it's like work with what you have right now however you can and just get started with what you can and like tune everything out it's so hard it's literally so hard to focus on anything these days you know um it's just really tempting to go on TikTok and veg out like all the time. We're all isolated and like weird after 2020. It's just like, we don't know how to talk to people. Do you know how to talk to people? Like I have 
forgotten still. Like I don't know how to talk to people. So we're all in this weird place and it's just so much easier to like not follow our dreams. But I think tune it all out, simplify. Don't overbuy, like just buy a couple things that you need and like get started and just like pick like four colors that you're gonna use and just make a little painting. And think about like everything you can simplify. Like if you need to write it down, it's like, my style is three words. My colors are three colors. The three days that I paint a week are this. Like, you know, set it up like that if you need to. And use your materials up before you buy new ones too. I really have that problem where I'm like, oh, I need new paint. Like, it's just me procrastinating on a painting. I'm like, oh, I need to go to the art store. What can I get, you know? Don't do that. <laughs> Let's go into 2024, like, feeling simple. Appreciating what we have, liking what is in front of us, and like, being happy with the style that we've chosen, the medium, the colors. There are so many styles out there, so many ways of doing things, so many perfect setups, so many beautiful art rooms. It doesn't have to be us. What we have now is what we wanted at some point in, you know, in the past. Not always wanting more, I guess. Reminding ourselves that like everything we're seeing is fake, you know? Everything is fake online and it makes us feel like we need more and more and more and we don't. <laughs> the comparison is really difficult. That's all I got for today. Uh, yeah, I'm wishing you a great great day, week, all of that. Let's just uh, be kind to ourselves and, and each other and, and do what we can, you know? Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.